and a plethora of other things. Like I like to listen to saxophones like yourself. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So um, listening to that and implementing that into my style, that's how I really got good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, I, and I, I never was scared to take a risk. Like Miss Simmons, like uh, my high school teacher from Heritage High School, shout out to Heritage H-Town. You already know. Um, <laughs> She was like, I love Jonathan because Jonathan is never scared to make a mistake because loud and wrong is better than quiet and you think you're right. Mm. Like, if you're quiet and you think... Michael Jamel, aka Mike G, jazz saxophonist, and I want to welcome you to another episode of the Hot Tea and Incense Podcast. Yes, sir. Yep. And I got <laughs> my man, yeah, boy, Jess John in the building. <laughs> yeah, we here. Dynamic vocalist, uh, on the voice. Yes, sir. NSU Season choir. Season nineteen. Uh huh. Heritage just dropped the EP. Choir. Yeah, just dropped the EP. <laughs> Doing big things, bro. How you feeling, man? Bro, bro, I'm feeling great, man. I'm on the high like no other, bro. Like, wow. Yesterday was the drop, and I'm just waiting to hear from everybody. You know, everybody's been hitting me up, just like, yo, the junk is crazy. Like, so I'm just just, just in showing. time. Yeah, right. ju- it was just in time. Just bro. In- <laughs> it's just in time for everybody Ooh, to get lit. You feel I, love, me? I love the wordplay on you that. You feel me? <laughs> cool. So, um, first off, before we, I want to dive right in. Before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and read the T captions before I forget. Um, you know what? This I think we read this one already. What did that say? Oh yeah. Let let up. Uh, Mine say says, it? "Live by your inner <laughs> knowledge and strength." <laughs> oh, this is gonna be the funniest episode I've ever seen. Trust me, I'm a goofball. My joints say, "Uh oh, sorry." Uh, my joints say, "Friendship is a gift that lasts," and that is true. Mm. I will. That is as virtue. Just pass me the honey, man. Pass oh me. yeah. That's be that honey deacon. Yeah. Can't forget the honey. Yes, brother. sir. Got to yes, get me sir. right with the elderberry. Cool. So, mm. mm-hmm. starting off, I just gonna jump right in, man. It was Talk really amazing just watching you um, on the voice, man. That was a, it was dope. But just because I know, you know, you see somebody from the same place you came from, mm-hmm. y'all at the same school studying, Facts. and then you see like getting that big respect. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was like. It was nice to see that. And I, so my question is, you know, how was that experience for you? You know, walk us through that experience, how you felt. I, I, I will tell you this right now. Like, when I first got my letter, because I didn't think I was going to make it because I think, well, not not I think, but we were doing the COVID season. So, mm-hmm. like, COVID had just happened right after I had did my audition in Baltimore. And I was like, dang, they probably, oh, wow. yeah, probably not even going to have a voice, yo. And I'm like, yo, dang. I did all of that traveling and all that for nothing. They were emailing us like, yeah, we're trying our best to like, you know, decipher what we're going to do. Because like they had to initially fly like 300 people down and then narrow, narrow it down to like 82 people. So instead of doing that, they just narrowed it down to 82 people and I made the 82 cut. Wow. Yeah. So like when I got there, I was like, yo, I can't believe I'm really here. I made the 82 cut. Like I made that line and got there, you know what I'm saying? We quarantined for 10 days and met some incredible people like yo this this is this quote is true friends what is a friendship is a gift that lasts bro i still know everybody from the 82 people wow every single person you know what i'm saying so it just was a it was like a it was a great opportunity i got to meet usher john legend kelly clarkson gwen stefani mm. kane brown and then of course my mega mentor to me which is blake because he was the only person to pick me out of the Ooh. out of the four uh out of the four coaches um it was lit bro man it just it really gave me confirmation that I'm as good as I think I am and even greater. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was doubting myself. I was having doubts. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, man. It just... That's it the really, hard part, yeah. too. I think a lot of times is um, you really don't know how good you are. Because a lot. I feel like a lot of times you're undersold. Mm-hmm. So, like, in a buyer's market, the buyers are always going to undersell what they're buying. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's like... Yeah, you, you know, you got a little yeah. something, brother, but, you know, keep on grinding. Keep Not knowing up. that, you really fired. But then like, when you get out and then somebody else of stature say, oh, no, nah, he fired. Now yeah, they're like, bro, no, oh, no. yeah. You yeah, know what I'm no, saying? No, that's, you no, that's are legit. fired. That's, yeah, no, so. that's really legit. It was confirmation, bro. Complete word. confirmation. 
Word, that's fire though. And then you saw you when you met Usher, what was that? What was that like? What well, they didn't about? show you everything in the uh, <laughs> in the episode. They probably only gave y'all like a, a two. Yeah, they probably gave y'all like a two minute snippet of what really happened. But yo, he really he really gave me the juice, man. He was wow. just like, yo, he was like, yo, bro, I see why you listen to me so much. I can hear the influence from me and other artists that you said wow. you love, like you love. He was like, yo, I admire that. He was like, but I want you to give me more. Mm. Like I know you have more in you. He was like, I know you under a lot of pressure. You know what I'm saying? Coming from Virginia and you know what I'm saying, going through what you've been through with like your parents, your mom, you know what I'm saying, life and all of that. Cause they they show them your background, you know what I'm saying, of, of uh, everything that you've been through and all of that stuff, like your history, bio yeah. and all of that. So he was like, yo, just relax and give it all you got. Even though I lost, it was like encouragement like to the fullest. It was like, bro, you're I don't know, can I cuss? No, okay. no, okay. Right, cool. clean. Oh, he was like, you the shiznit. <laughs> Basically, he was like, yo, you all in the bag of chips. So I was just like, all right, man, we cool, we cool, we cool. And what's good. crazy too, I think a lot of times people think that, you know, these shows are fake. But mm. that sounds like a real experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's you fake to I mean? a certain extent though. Okay, I see what you're saying. I, I would say I, like as far as like um, editing. Uh, like so, okay. So like I, I spent two hours with Usher. Well, maybe an hour and a half with Usher, but they only showed y'all two minutes. So I would say it's fake in that sense because you didn't really get to grasp everything that he was telling me. They just took like some parts and you And know, they don't always take the parts that, yeah, that you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like a cameraman when they shooting you. I know. Like, I know. oh you didn't take the right ones. Like, oh no, these are the ones I thought was the best. And it was like, no, I like that one. It was like, no, this was the best. <laughs> this trust me, this Facts. was the best. Like, so yeah, that's so, how it went. With that being said, I know you wow. mentioned um, the background, mm -hmm. so we can transition to the background, man. How did you, how did you get into singing, and how did you, how did you get into your style of singing? Because you add a lot of elements into it, <laughs> um, and you well, take risk with it. Yeah, That's one, one thing I, I meant care. to tell you too. You ain't, you are not afraid to take risks. I do not care. That's the part. Of, that's the part of growing. Like that's what Miss Simmons taught me. I'm gonna get to that though. But um, like, okay, I started in Kojic Church. Children's choir, like everybody probably starts off with music. Then I went over to, I guess, the contemporary side, which, you know, which was school. Mm -hmm. In that time, to me, which was school, elementary school, middle school, I was singing all that music, learning that side of it. And then I started getting into jazz when I got in high school. I started really diving into jazz, like really mm -hmm. heavy. Like I, I dove heavy into jazz. So you, you mix the gospel with the jazz, with the R&B, and a plethora of other things. Like, I like to listen to saxophones like yourself. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, um, listening to that and implementing that into my style, that's how I really got good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I never was scared to take a risk. Like, Miss Simmons, like, uh, my high school teacher from Heritage High School, shout out to Heritage H-Town, you already know. <laughs> um, she was like, I love Jonathan because Jonathan is never scared to make a mistake because loud and wrong is better than quiet and you think you're right. Like, if you're quiet and you think you're right and you're not right, uh, right. then saying loud and wrong in rehearsal and you're like, oh, I could be better. So, like, any performance I do, people could come up to me come up to me after a performance like, ah, oh, that was all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I know it was all right. But that's a part of the learning process. I could practice all day long. You know what I'm saying? But when, when I get in front of everybody, I want to be able to go where I want to go and I want to be, you know, I want to be comfortable with doing whatever. I want to take risks, you know? If I don't know no, one person fact. that's successful that never took a risk. Mm. So and what, what I is. like too with that, what you just said is, um, in practice, you're not afraid to make a mistake. Because even some of my <laughs> students, like a lot of times, we condition though. This not, not sure. even just with with music and life. We condition to be afraid to make that mistake. So you never ever learn and Until build on that. Until you make it, yeah. So you be like, dang, I'm I don't ready know. To make it. Boop. Is that the right number? Boop. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'd rather be like, boop, no, sir, get it right. All right, what is like, it? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Feel like the squid game. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> now, what I know is what you said, Miss, Miss Simmons, too. Oh, yeah. It, that's not um, Theory's mother, is it? Yeah, that's Trey Mama. Oh, excuse wow. me. That's Theory Mama. Yeah, bro, I say Theory because But that's how we got together, bro. Wow. Yeah, man. That's when we first met in her classroom. This was like, um, this, is, this had to be Trey. Could correct me if I'm wrong, bro. This had to be like seventh grade, seventh, eighth grade, bro. We so met. the plot thickens. Yes. <laughs> Producer on like three Shout of my <laughs> three of my songs on the EP, praise God. You wow. feel me? Yeah, for sure. Word. That's my guy. Cool, man. So the EP. Oh, yeah, the EP, bro. What's up? Just in time. We here. Just in time. Let's let's talk about that experience. Um, when did you start like recording? 
Was my, this before the voice or after the voice? Way before the voice. Uh, uh, me and my cousin, me and my cousin, cousin, me and my cousin Justin Ricks, uh, we started. Well, he came up to me because well, I'm gonna be real. I wanted to stop making music. Like I made the voice and everything, but I was just like, man, you know, after this, yo, I think I'm gonna just get a regular job. What made you? What made you say that? I mean, I had I had lost my grandfather, a uh, couple cousins, my aunts. I just wanted a space to. I feel like I could create for real. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I just wanted to take a break off. And then Justin came up to me. He was like, nah, bro, we're not going to let you do that. Mm. So he gave me, um, how many songs? About four songs off the EP. And he was like, yo, we gonna, we, let's make an album. I mean, let's let's make an EP. Well, let's make an album because it's on the way. It's, spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was, just like, he was just like, yeah, man, let's, let's make some music. I don't want you to give up, man. You're too talented. So we started so recording. You. Yeah. We recorded uh-huh. right after I found out... Um, I made the voice. Like right after I found out, he was like, "All right, let's let's record some of these songs because you're gonna be gone for like four months. So let's wow. record let's record these songs now." So before I left on July fifth, we probably had recorded like the whole album besides like Flowers. I think Flowers. No, Flowers was the first song. I think we didn't record. Uh, Give it to me, uh, Shep. Shout out to uh, Antoine Shepard. It's probably the shout only song we didn't uh, didn't record. But everything else was already laid down before I went to um, before I went to L. A. Wow! So, yeah, bro, we was already done. Like, did um, just need to be mixed and mastered. Okay. Yeah. So, as far as the uh, the theme of the album, what kind of what what kind of came out in the theme? You feel like uh, just in time? Mm-hmm. Uh, Key wrote it. Uh, Key is on the first song, uh, "Coast to Coast" for Key. Okay. Key, uh, Key named the album, gave me the whole inspiration for the uh, for what was going on with okay, that. Okay, and for the know. listeners, who is Key? Key is Key. <laughs> Okay, okay. Key is key. She know who she is. Uh, word, word, word. Yeah, for that's sure. fire. Yeah, um, yeah, that's interesting, man. Because it's like I think it's almost like it can become harder in these times to mm-hmm. create. Mm-hmm. But it's like these are the times when it's essential to create. Mm-hmm. For sure. Like I don't, under, I don't think that the general public realize how essential music and art is to the culture. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because when the pandemic hit, they're like, all oh, this stuff is closed. But the ABC store, that's essential. <laughs> Yo, wait. <laughs> we got <laughs> to keep that the open. Gun, the gun shops, they essential. Let they me legalize got, this. got to be up. <laughs> Let me legalize this weed. weed. yeah. Because that is that's essential. essential. <laughs> but, uh, nah, shut down all the shows. They don't need to be going to no... Cut, shut oh, the churches down. Yeah. Shut churches down. <laughs> Nobody can go in a church. But all y'all could be scrambling up in the ABC store trying to get y'all Hennessy. That's nah. for shorted. For a long, y'all act like y'all don't drink Hennessy. I drink Hennessy. It was shorted for a while. No, I just, I just, I just, just people. I'm sitting there, people. I'm like, okay, but it it does make sense though. People Mm-mm. need a way to to. If you stress people out, they do need a way to de stress. It still don't make sense better to me. Ways. It still don't make sense to me. I mean, gyms, gyms was half capacity, <laughs> but the ABC stores was at full capacity. I mean, you can walk all the way up in there. You know what I'm saying? Like you go to the gun. I went when I went. I bought my first gun, like oh, yeah, right gun during the, during packed. the pandemic, bro. They was packed. Like it was yeah. a line outside. Like bro, I'm standing outside in the heat because you know it happened during summertime almost basically. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm out there like just waiting in line. Like, I mean, but in a, in a global scheme of things, they like we have to contain because people. That's when people start doing crazy stuff, right? Bro, they did whatever but they wanted to do. To me, what's a better <laughs> thing? Is if you really reach into the community, like this yeah. was this was a time for the government to really reach into people's lives. Mm. But you know, that's another story. Neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> so musical influences, man. Um, I know you said you were into jazz early. Mm-hmm. Um, what type of artist influenced you in the jazz realm, and then, uh, you know, the gospel and R and B. What are some um. of your influences? I give you two, I, th- I probably try to give you three of everybody, jazz, uh, Kurt Elling, Miles Davis. Mm. Um, one more, one more, one more jazz person. I'm trying to give you a good jazz person. I would say recently, and I won't even specify them as jazz, but I would specify them as everything because they're just musicians. I'll give it Snarky Puppy. They've really been an influence to me lately. Uh, okay. But them first two, Kurt Elling and Miles Davis and Louis Armstrong, I, I gave you four. My bad. Okay. But just going back to Louis. back to basics, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Ella Fitzgerald, I'm, I'll go back to the basics for them. Mm-hmm. Gospel, 
I got to give it to B Slay, a.k.a. Tone. Mm. Got to give it to Kimberell, you already know. Right. And got to give it to the Clark sisters, mm. for sure. Um, R&B, I got to give it to Usher, John Legend. Um, who I'm going to get y'all for my last one? It's got to be a girl. Oh, Brandy. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I mean, not too much Brandy, because everybody wants to sound like Brandy now. <laughs> that verse everybody, is everybody, everybody wants to sound like Brandy, bro. But you just take a little bit of, you know, take a little bit. Honorable mention will be... Who will honorable mention be? That's a tough one. Hmm. Usher. Oh, sure. Oh. Actually, I'm, I was trying to be fair by putting a girl in, but Chris Brown for sure. Ooh. Yeah, CB. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> CB. Yeah. For you sure. Can't forget Chris, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Ba in the house. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Lamaya. Yeah, but that's just a few, man. I listen to everybody, man. Like especially back in '09, '08, '07, I was listening to everybody, trying to just take everybody's stuff and just make it my own, put it into my own perspective of presenting it to people. You know. What nah, I'm saying? fact. I can I can hear that too. Like. And I think that's me being, you know, a musician and hearing how you manipulate the notes with your voice. Mm -hmm. That be the exciting part, cause like I said, a lot of vo vocal people just, especially nowadays, you're just playing it safe. Yeah. It's just like Drake can compete with most of, you know what I mean? Cause he chilling. He in his, he in his vein. <laughs> the second Drake stick, <laughs> the second he step out, they go like, whoa, wait, yeah, yeah, whoa. yeah. Drake, what are you doing? This is not you. And then you come on the track and go, ah, yeah. and they're like, what? Yeah. No switching lanes. <laughs> it's not a race. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like, God, no, what is that? That's Thanks, different. That's man. a little different. Shoot, well, I appreciate you for coming on, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, let the people know where they can find you at. Check out your music. I just got hacked, y'all, at ten point five k. So I had to start a new IG. I did see that, bro. We gotta talk about that just, first. Just, just stay off your DMs. If anybody DM you asking you to do anything, just say no. I would say, like, Smokey the Bear said, what is not Smokey the Bear, the Dare Bear said, <laughs> just say no to drugs. Just say no to these jokers trying to take your IG. Wow. Now, um, yeah, just just don't do it. And then, you uh, know, Facebook just... Just shut down. No, Facebook, WhatsApp, and IG just shut down Bruh. for, like, a day. Almost a day. It's getting weird, bro. I, get, I ain't gonna lie, because I... I seen that when you had got hacked, and then I got nervous. Yeah, just don't open your DMs. Facebook went down. I was like, Jesus, help. Yeah, right? I, don't, I don't know if my account is next on the ah. chopping block. <laughs> you feel me? But you know what the lady said, right? What'd she say? The lady came out, and um, so the day before they got hacked, mm -hmm. um, a whistleblower mm -hmm. came out with, with 60 Minutes saying that- oh, I think I did hear that. Go, go ahead. That Facebook- uh, their, they shut down their misinformation mm -hmm. department, mm -hmm. and she was like, pretty much that they, they promote misinformation or hate speech more because people are addicted. Are addicted to watching it. Oh, that's so crazy. And they crazy. get more ads. And she was like, she just had to share this because they is don't know a solution. Us, and then the next day, everything shut down. Cause yeah, she they had, tried to she delete had, everything. Bro, she had <laughs> files. She said she had put files away for 10 years. Oh, yeah, she wildin'. Hey, she wildin'. Bro. Hey, she wildin'. I was like, uh, oh, now we, the whole, all the apps oh, were... All the apps were just, all of a sudden, Twitter was jumping, though. Twitter was jumping, bro. All the memes was crazy. The last one. So yeah, well, nah. But yeah, shout, shout out your uh, socials. You can find me on Instagram at my new Instagram. Just John Music 757. That's J U S J O N. The word music and 757 because I'm 757 born, 757 raised. Mm. Again, shout out to H Town. Yes, sir. Um, and it's, uh, Facebook, Just John. Twitter, Just John Music. Uh, and if you want to look up the album, just type in Just John and type in Just in Time and you'll be there. And that's J U S. Yes. J O N J O N yes, J U S J O N. Yep. YouTube YouTube videos coming soon. Ooh. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Any shows Let's on hear. the docket? Hey, bro, don't worry about it. Look, uh. If you follow me, you'll see what I got on the way. You Word. feel me? Word. My guy, hey, yes, already Always. a pleasure, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. VA. That was good, bro. All right. Oh.